Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd do something different today and show you guys my Ocarina collection. Surprise! Uh, this is another Thursday video, so remember I told you guys last week I wanted to do more vlogs, more requests, instead of straight performances. So, um, I'm going to go over to that footage here in just a second, but uh, thanks for watching, and if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. So, here is all but two of my Ocarina collection. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, so we're going to start off with the pendants in my Ocarina collection. This one right here, this one on the bottom left corner, it's Spirit Song Ocarina from Lori. It's my most recent addition to my collection. This one above it with the blue splotchy kind of glaze and the Triforce is from Stonehenge Ocarina from a maker named Alex in Texas, the USA. Um, it's supposed to be, I believe, in an A. This next one, many of you will recognize. This is a Tenrai 8-hole pendant. This one here, if you... This one right here. If you watched my Ocarina video this past Monday, I uh, played Let It Be on this, and this is the Soprano G uh, Dragon Tooth Baby, Baby Dragon Tooth, excuse me, from Songbird Ocarina. I really enjoy that one. This is my uh, Tenor G Seed Pod. Let me see if I can get a little better view. From Also from Songbird Ocarina, beautiful deep tone. Okay, and then we have my Soprano C, which is the little... Ocarina necklace from STL Ocarina, one of my first Ocarinas. I still wear it quite often. The next one up here in the corner at the top, this one right there, is my uh, Gosling from Oberon Ocarinas. This next one down here is my... Let's see if I can get my finger to show up on camera. There it is. There's my finger. This one right here is a Soprano C little pendant that my friend, one of my Ocarina friends gave me. Um, her name is Juniper, so it's green. But uh, I always love it. It's a little Sprouncy pen. It's fun to wear during the holidays. This next one is technically my husband's ocarina. It's uh, Totoro from STL Ocarina. Um, nice little piece. Uh, he really enjoys playing it, but I keep it with mine just for storage sake. This next one is a Peruvian ocarina I got from the Walterboro... Uh, Rice Festival a few years ago. This guy was selling flutes and little ocarinas. Um, this one is not tuned correctly, so it's more of a conversation piece, if you will. But this one is like a little, I think they call it a water warbler. I think it's an ocarina. If you dip it in water and you blow into this part up here that looks like a pipe, and um, the little hole on the head there, you move your finger back and forth and it makes it sound like a bird. So I think it's an ocarina. This next one is from STL Ocarina. It is the six-hole uh, dragon. I think it is an Alto C, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I actually have two of these. One I won in a contest, and the other one was given to me by a very dear friend. So I keep up with both of them. But um, yeah, that's the STL dragon uh, six-hole pendant, and part of their Zodiac series, I think. And this last one, this little turtle guy in the back, is from Stein Ocarina. My mom got it for me for Christmas. But it's a little six hole. I believe it's also an Alto C. So yeah, those are my pendant ocarinas. So if I can get a shot of all of them at once. <laughs> so hopefully you can see all of those. But those are the ones I can put my hands on right away. But yeah. I have had this one for a while. This one's also not tuned. I don't know the name of the maker or really anything much about it. But I've always stored it with my ocarinas. So I thought you guys might like to see it. It's a little four hole. Um, little four hole piece that I like. So yeah, let's keep going. Okay, so these are my single chambered transverse ocarinas. I believe most of them are 12 holes, except for obviously the one on the top, the Zelda replica, is 7 holes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through each one. So here we go. This first one on the bottom left that's purple and green right here, rotate this a bit, is my Hamlet Soprano E flat that my buddy Richard Hamlet gave me for my birthday one year. Um, when I first met him, that was kind of cool. So, um, yeah, that's that one. The next one we have is a, a Sawa Soprano C from Songbird Ocarina. Great little ocarina. Toss your backpack. Don't worry, I have to break it. Nice little tone to it as well. You've heard that a couple of times on the channel, I think. This next one is a Rotter Soprano C. Uh, as you see the C1, that means Soprano C. Uh, split 10 hole. That's not a 12 hole, obviously, but excuse me, it's a split uh, pinky hole to do C and C sharp. Uh, Italian fingering, still getting used to that a little bit. <laughs> so this next one is a Dinda Soprano. See, this is a recent addition to my collection. I absolutely love it. It sounds great. Um, you can see the little neck strap is still attached to it. But I just recently got that one. I love the way it sounds. It's really good. I'm trying to get a variety of Soprano C's for 
my septet to be a better player for the septet. This next one I got from Focal Link, direct from Taiwan. It's a blue and white porcelain soprano C. Beautiful piece. Sounds great. Um, I really like that one. I think that might be my go-to soprano C because it is an Asian style fingering, um, which I'm personally more comfortable with. And um, yeah, you can see the little sub holes. It plays great. This next one, again, was technically my husband's ocarina. I gave it to him for one of his birthdays, I think it was. Um, it's the STL Echo Soprano C. He likes black, so I got black instead of blue. Uh, not a bad little ocarina. This next one is from a friend of mine, another ocarina friend, uh, Kevin Wright. You can see his initials there stamped near the mouthpiece. It's a Soprano F that he made for me. Um, I picked up the color scheme and the dots and everything, so he was kind enough to do that for me. <laughs> this next one is also Soprano F. Um, an ocarina friend told me the name of the maker or the brand. I can't remember uh, the name or the brand of it, but um, you see the beautiful hand-painted kind of flowers and leaves there. I wish I knew the name of it. Somebody please let me know in the comments um, what the name of it is. This next one is a Rotter Soprano G. It's another 10-hole Italian finger ocarina with a split C. CNC sharp. And then this is the Dinda Soprano G that I got from another uh, acquaintance in the Ocarina community. I bought this in the triple bass. See, he threw this in as part of the deal, I guess you could say. But um, I really love the pattern on that one, the kind of striations on the top, the stripes kind of looking. I uh, really like that one a lot. So let's continue here. This is another Rotter. This is the Soprano A. You see the lovely terracotta color? I love it. This one is the STL Siren in Soprano A. My husband got this one for me, believe it or not. Um, this sounds kind of hard to believe, I guess, but he got it at a thrift shop here in South Carolina. And um, yeah, I've held on to it uh, to see if I can find out what pitch it is. Maybe let you guys know later. This next one is the STL Aria in C. Uh, a friend of mine redid the glaze and kind of did it to match the Echo. Soprano C, so you can kind of see the similarity there with the black and the white. That's what she was going for. But I think she did a beautiful job, and it's just a great piece. This next one my husband also got for me from uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Someone who used to be in one of the armed forces had this ocarina while they were, um, you know, serving the country. And I believe it's now to see. Get a little bit closer in case anybody wants to kind of see the markings on it. But, um... It plays up to the C, the one octave, pretty well. Above that, it's not the best, but it's an interesting little conversation piece, little piece of history that I have in my collection. Okay. This next one, um, a very good friend of mine, <laughs> who's probably going to watch this video later, gave, 3D printed this for me, and it was her present to me when I was leaving the job that we worked at together. So I've had it for, I think, two years, two or three years now, but um, I love the color. It's so pretty. And, um, yeah, just a cool little ocarina she 3D printed for me. She knows how much I'm into it, and I still appreciate the gift. This next one, sorry if you can't see it too well, is uh, a gift from a friend overseas. Um, I think it's a hop ocarina, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I, it's a beautiful thing. I have to show you the hand paint. Let's see if I pick it up for a second. But, um... It's hand-painted, I believe, and you see the ladies there on the side with the beautiful rose, and it has that. I just had to show you all of this on this one, but yeah, you see the nice painting on the side there. I'm trying to be very careful with these, obviously, for obvious reasons. So that's a Hop Alto C. Beautiful sound. I like the little thing on the mouthpiece, too, the maker's mark. This next one is uh, from Ocarina Wind, Alto C. Uh, I think it, they call it the Forest Whisper, or something like that, but it's decent little Alto C. Um, I think this was my second or third ceramic ocarina I ever got, so I've held on to it for a while. And then we have the big boy over here. My first Zelda replica is the Seven Hole uh, Alto C from Songbird Ocarina. Um, for anyone who might not be familiar with this one, obviously it's made to look like the ocarina in the game. It's supposed to resemble that, but three of the holes are fake. You basically play it like a six hole with half holing on the back to get the top three notes and then you can use one finger to go down below tonic which if you're not familiar with that you just add to the range below the basic note i guess that's a good way of saying it 
So that's the seven hole ceramic um, Zelda Ocarina of Time replica. STL uh, Zelda replica is a base C. You can see the little Triforce there and the blue color and everything plays nicely. These are two transverse ocarinas that I managed to find after I started filming the other clip. So this one is my Alto G from Hamlet. This is my Alto F from Kevin Wright. Um, I guess you guys are sensing a bit of the theme with the purple and the green. But yeah, those are two that I have. The Alto G on the bottom there and the one on the top is an Alto F. So let's keep on rolling. Okay, everyone, we're in the home stretch here. Uh, the one on the bottom is my, probably my favorite in my collection. This one right here with the gray on the corner is my Takashi Triple Alto C. Um, just recently got that from an Ocarina friend here in the States. Um, was very lucky. Uh, he was very nice and sold it to me. This one in the middle was my first ceramic multi-chamber. Um, that is the Purple Clay Triple Alto C from STL Ocarina. This top one with the interesting kind of peach coral color going to the lavender, lilac, whatever you want to call that color, is a Triple Base C from STL Ocarina. So yeah, that's all the Ocarinas I own in the different categories. Uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. And if you enjoy my content, hey, stick around, hit the subscribe button, make sure uh, notifications are turned on, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.